Hey BC, uh, this is uh, Big Star 1000 with part two of uh, the German finds, German digs. Um, and today, before I show you uh, any records, I will take you into two other shops that I went to um, in Germany. And um, just to remind you, I went to all these places and the shops that I want to talk to you about today are a shop in Castle, uh, which uh, is called Abbey Road. Abbey Road is in the center of town of Castle. Uh, it's a small shop. Uh, you know, it didn't really blow me away the first time I went, um, but um, as I returned there, I was more uh, lucky and I uh, found some interesting little pieces there, but um, here's a, a regular section that you can see. Um, yeah, that was my first visit. I wasn't really too convinced about it, but as I um, as I persisted, there was some really cool stuff to be found. Um, and um, the guy behind the counter um, was a really friendly dude. He even invited me to go to a gig that night because uh, I was chatting to him and I was saying, oh, you know, I'm from Australia, blah, blah, blah. And he was just, um, he said, oh, I've got some tickets for a gig. Do you want to come? And I couldn't go, unfortunately. You can see here a copy of the uh, Sun Bear uh, concert by Keith Jarrett on vinyl. I've never seen one before. Amazing package, really. I've got it on CD and I hardly play it anyway, but just to say that was a cool thing to see. I would have almost dropped the money uh, if I hadn't got it on on CD already. But, you know, them's the breaks. The second shop that I'm going to show you was um, uh, this shop, Musik, Musik von Gruber in uh, Erfurt, which is in former uh, DDR, in former East Germany. And that was an interesting shop because they had crates of this um, uh, label called Amiga, which is a, an East German label. Very interesting to find some of those records. Uh, I don't know how legal uh, the Amiga re releases were, but uh, they're certainly cool to, to see. And um, yeah, more reggae, it seems to be. A theme of uh, the theme of the day today is reggae. I am not going to show you some reggae records uh, today. However, I'm going to show you some jazz records. <laughs> Okay, uh, jazz records. Um, I just want to warn you before you go any further. Uh, there's a quite a few of these jazz records here that are they're not really grails or anything. They're just nice records. Just happened to pick them up because you know they were just there and they were cheap enough. Uh, I didn't break the bank on some of these. Uh, there's no absolute grail in here where there's just. You know some nice records some nice jazz records so don't expect to see some absolute monster uh, whatever you, you you know it's a pretty standard run-of-the-mill kind of a jazz uh, selection here but anyway this uh, record I found in a shop in Castle was very cheap uh, and you know you all know it it's uh, it's the, uh, the the great Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers uh, that album on Blue Note, uh, everybody knows it. Do I need to say more? Probably not. It's a great record. Um, probably uh, early 2000s uh, reached you, or thereabouts. I apologize for the glare, but um, it's a very sunny afternoon here in Melbourne. and I try to minimize the glare by, um, instead of filming from above, on the table to film um, with the record standing up, but uh, it doesn't make any difference. Um, this record is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, McCoy Tyner, Enlightenment, uh, live at the Montreux 
Jazz Festival, as you, if, if you'll focus. There we go. Um, so here we have uh, a double live set from one of uh, John Coltrane's uh, favorite sidemen. Um, absolutely amazing. The very definition of spiritual jazz. Aza Lawrence is on fire on this. It's just amazing. I, I mean, grab it. If you see it, grab it. Don't hesitate. This one here I found in Nuremberg, I think. Uh, nothing really that I was particularly, particularly uh, looking for. Uh, but uh, I like Archie Shep on America. This is the French label. America, great jazz label from the 60s, 70s. Uh, specialized in the in the avant-garde um, and so when I saw this about 10 euros or something um, put it on the turntable in the shop I like the sound of it very cool with uh, Chicago Bowie there there are some vocals on this which um, are nice they, they, they don't distract this one I found for next to nothing uh, Thelonious Monk with John Coltrane I love Monk to me, Monk is one of the crucial four of uh, of modern jazz. Miles, Train, Monk, and Mingus, to me, are the they the, the the you know in my book the great four. And when you've got a, one of the great fours with another one of the great fours in the same record, you have to pick it up. Uh, this was a German reissue on Jazzland. Uh, this is a wonderful, you know, date that they, you know, Coltrane is very bouncy on this. It's, you know, they, they go well, they, they work well together. Um, this was only about five euros in a, a sort of a thrift, a thrift store. And from the same label as, um, as you just saw, um, is another, um, great record. Uh, classic records from Bill Evans, uh, Waltz for Debbie. Um, one of these kind of timeless jazz pieces, the Bill Evans trio. Now for some uh, jazz funk, jazz fusion. Um, this is a classic kind of early 80s jazz funk record. Uh, defunct uh, thermo nuclear sweat it's a great record uh, you know you, if you haven't heard it this this cooks this absolutely cooks it's a very very nice record it was very cheap this was another Nuremberg fi uh, find um, Paz Paz are back again jazz fusion from the early 80s or late 70s early 80s from the UK vaguely related to Nucleus, I think, couldn't tell you how, but um, this record smokes as well. I mean, it's a really, really nice record. And even the pieces that are not jazz, jazz funk oriented, there are a couple of more spiritual kind of tracks work really well. This record is, is amazing. And I found this for next to nothing in Nuremberg. Um, Maybe surprising, uh, but I picked up Black Market by Weather Report. You may ask yourself why. Such a common record. But in Australia here, it's just not really easy to find. I, it's a record that I never see here. And, um, you know, again, it was like a five euro record in perfect condition, except for the, uh, the little, you can see the little sticker mark there, but I don't really care about that. That doesn't bother me. Um, and like the, the, just for the title track, uh, Black Market, I mean, if you haven't heard that track, again, this Cooks, this absolutely Cooks, what a great track. Some new jazz, um, and I'm going to show you three new jazz records that I picked up. This one is from last year. It's one of the best releases of last year, full stop. Uh, Michaela McRaven, uh, Universal Beings. A uh, fantastic double LP full of neo spiritual, wh whatever you want to call it, avant garde jazz, uh, featuring a cast of great 
Uh, musicians from uh, Chicago, uh, New York, London, and Los Angeles. So people like Nubia Garcia, uh, Shabak Hutchings. Um, anyway, this is highly recommended. A couple of people in the VC have shown this in the past. This is killer. And whilst I'm here, uh, a couple of CDs uh, that I picked up as well. Um, and this is uh, Yaz Ahmed, La Saboteuse. She's also from the uh, UK. And um, I was talking about um, Nubia Garcia and Shabaka Hutchings. Uh, so this girl, uh, totally amazing. She plays the trumpet, I think. Great Fender Rhodes on this. Very, very, um, very subtle. Very uh, understated. Uh, yeah, kind of avant-garde, but at the same, at the same time very melodic. Um, and since we're talking about modern jazz, um, this is also a CD that I picked up for very cheap in a thrift store in Germany. Uh, the VJ Ia Ia, whatever you pronounce it, the VJ Ia Sextet. Far from over, great Fender Rhodes playing on this amazing, amazing, uh, uh, amazing record, really. Um, very, very highly recommended, too. And to finish with a little bonus, um, well, to cut a story short, my mum visited me in Germany because uh, it's not very far, and I had pre ordered some records. And because I knew I was coming to Germany, I sent them directly to my mum's house. And so I, um, when I met her, uh, she brought them to me. So I didn't buy these in Germany, strictly speaking, but um, uh, I uh, picked them up when I was there. Uh, and I very, very uh, highly recommend this uh, first record you see here. This is Michel Rock. This is one of the best French jazz records uh, ever, uh, and again I'm going to use the spiritual jazz uh, label, but it is. It's uh, French jazz with vocals. Uh, this record will set you back probably three or four hundred dollars uh, as an original, and it's just been reissued very lovingly by Souffle Continu uh, from Paris. Uh, and so you can get it for, for a good price. In the same package, I got a reissue of this, again, another classic French record from the, I think, the 70s. Uh, and this is uh, Jean Cohen Solal. Jean Cohen Solal, Flute Libre. Uh, the original sleeve didn't look like this, it looked quite different, but um, uh, they've sort of reworked the sleeve and I quite like what they've done with it. Um, this is a time very melodic but quite free as well and um, there's a bit of sitar by uh, Serge Franklin on it and there's a bit of um, yeah, uh, Fender Rhodes. It's really, really a, uh, a very, very nice 70s French record. And finally, I uh, picked up uh, in that same package from my from my mum. Uh, I uh, I got this uh, reissue of uh, Resus O, a classic again uh, French jazz uh, avant-garde jazz. It's really an amazing record. Again, the original will set you back a few hundreds uh, of euros. So I think. It's a good way to go. Uh, it sounds good. It's pressed well. Uh, it's a beautiful record. Um, so, uh, again, buy with confidence. So, that's all I've got here for you, VC. And um, next installment will be the final installment of this um, German digs. And I will show you some African, some Oriental records. A couple of sort of indie, a little bit of avant-garde. It'll be a, a mixed bag, a bit of prog as well too. Okay, I hope you enjoy this installment and uh, I'll talk to you um, if you write me some comments. I'll reply back to you. Okay, cheers. <laughs>